Concord Vital Statistics. Max takeoff weight, 185 tons. It's extraordinary that that slim little aircraft can carry 185 tons. You must make the weight 111 tons by using the fuel before you can land. The payload is 10 tons. Each passenger weighs about 70. Five kilos, she weighs a bit less, but then her case weighs a bit more, so you can average <laughs> passenger in a case of 100 kilos each. Payload to weight ratio, 6%. Max fuel, 95 tons. Half the fuel on takeoff is, uh, half the weight on takeoff is, 90, is the fuel. Typical re fuel reserve, 13 tons. If you wanted to arrive with an extra ton of fuel, you have to put two on at London. It costs a ton to carry an extra ton. Passenger miles of the gallon. We were rather proud of this. It was as if each passenger were in a car doing 15 miles to the gallon. But the 380, it's when full. It is as if each passenger were in a car doing 100 miles to the gallon. And with the price of fuel as it is at the moment, I don't know whether we can justify putting ourselves back into service unless we can improve our fuel consumption. Or maybe use hydrogen, which has been produced by solar or nuclear power. Crew on the flight deck three, cabin crew six. There. I might ask questions later. Now, we went into service. We went to Bahrain. They went to Rio de Janeiro. But we really wanted to go to New York, because that's where the money was going to be made. But the New Yorkers, in spite of the fact that the federal authorities had given us permission to go to Washington in May 76, held us up, Port of Authority, held us up until November 77. And here is how we astonished the residents of New York by our quietness. Do you see Howard Beach? Now, I hope I won't press the wrong button. I the sum total of protests in noise exceeded all the concords put together. But when we took off first, we turned left before we got to them, and they said, why don't the su subsonic aircraft do the same? They did. Thanks to Concord, Howard Beach became a far quieter place than had it not been for our arrival. Now, we're going to do a takeoff on that 3-1 left. The left hand of the two northwest facing runways, you will see the, flight, the crew on the flight deck bouncing up and down in happy anticipation of, a, of being about to get airborne. Watch the bounce. Can't stop now. Rotate. All will stick back. Hope for flight. Me too. Safe Positive climb out speed. Turn. Look at that low level turn. Great fun. We love doing it.
Howard Beach, a little bit too far to the northwest. Shh. Once we're clear of Howard Beach, we can put the thrust back up. You watch. Going to fire the disused airfield in the moment. Landing gear. Mouth lights off as neutral. Landing lights. Master warning. Very cool. Very effective. And all that. Then there comes the car park, so we have to throttle back so we don't set the car alarms off. Take the fish. Full thrust. And the nose of visor, please. We can exceed 250 knots. No. Here comes the nose and visor. And the visor. And a glorious calm settles on the flight deck at that point.